And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for the 18th of July 2023. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening. Of course, US equities were up to start the week with banks and tech outperforming. We, of course, started with earnings season and we have some more banks reporting today. All major indices close high with only the Russell 2000 now shy of bull market territory. And that's at 19.5% up from its October lows. US futures are near neutral in the Asian session. Haven't moved very much. Asian markets are mixed in this morning session. The ASX is not doing particularly well. It's down minus 0.4%. We also saw some downside pressure on the Chinese index and the Hang Seng on the back of some comments made from an interview done on CNBC, which suggested they could be further downside in the Chinese economy. European futures are pointing to a cautious open and the VIX is still historically low at three and a half year lows. US dollar index holds steady after the major drops last week over the last couple of days. It's fairly neutral in Asia so far, though we are beginning to see a little bit of weakness. Gold is trading around that 1960 level. Copper is remaining steady around 385 after pulling back early yesterday after that Chinese GDP number. And all paused after Friday's retracement from the 200 EMA, which we reported on yesterday. Bitcoin is back into range, but holding 30,000 support. And we've got Bank of America and MS, the two headline acts that are reporting earnings tonight. Obviously, we ramp up through the week. We've had the RBA minutes release, which pushed the ASX down around 0.2%. Later on, we've got US retail sales and industrial production numbers. Canadian CPI is also out. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, with the USD, we're seeing a push up against this 112.55 level, which is quite important. This would breach the R1 pivot, possibly send us up to 112.73 in the first instance, and maybe even up to test 113. As I said, you've just seen a little bit of USD weakness during the course of the day. And of course, this is at multi-month highs on this pair. On the ASX, we're seeing Kogan fly through $6. Uh, this is one we've been tracking for a few days. Uh, there's that important six dollar level and if we look at the weekly chart we could see a move up as high as seven dollars which is where the 200 ema is sitting uh, and also this is relevant from previous price action as well on the weekly chart but for now we're seeing this break through this price level it's just continued to go higher during the day and this looks very very impressive trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now